So let's talk about VJ, Uncle Jacob, because seeing um, seeing your comment there saying Vance Joseph has to go, he will be gone at the end of the season. Vance Joseph will 100% no longer be the defensive coordinator of the Denver Broncos unless this team wins almost every single game on the remainder of their schedule, which we all know is not going to freaking happen. But so with Vance Joseph... I, again, I spoke with a former Broncos alumni, a very high name player um, that used to play for the Denver Broncos, and kind of asked that player about this defensive effort right now. And this player told me that if the Broncos were to fire Vance Joseph right now, nothing would change. And that basically confirms a lot of what I've seen as well. The communication has not been there between several veteran players linebackers, Alex Singleton and Josie Jewell, the communication has been bad. Kareem Jackson, I hate calling him out, but his communication in the secondary has been been terrible, especially when guys such as Larry and Turner and Yell were in there. What, what this former player told me is basically what I've observed on tape as well. I didn't want to call it out directly until I had someone that quite frankly knew more ball than me confirm it. Once this individual confirmed that to me, then that basically told me all I need to know, man. This team has to reset their personnel on defense. Firing Vance Joseph is not going to... It, it's basically like putting a cheap band-aid on a festering, gangrene wound. That's what firing Vance Joseph would do. It may temporarily solve the problem, but long-term, it's not going to solve shit. It's just not. You're, this team's going to is basically stuck with Vance Joseph throughout the remainder of this season. I know that's not going to make a lot of Broncos fans happy, but at the same time, man, that's just kind of where this team is right now. Christian Parker hiring him would only do so much. Ray Ann, what's going on? Good to see you. Broncos fan for life, but Vance Joseph has to go. They're letting teams score 20 or more points per game, which is killing us. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely killing us, and it's absolutely an issue. But again, scheme schematics are a big issue. They are, especially this too high Fangio-style soft-shell defense. I'd rather Vance Joseph go back to what he's actually known for, which is more single high, cover three, man coverage, blitzes, that kind of stuff. Christian Parker right now is the hottest commodity out there to replace Vance Joseph in the short term as defensive coordinator. He's literally, he's a bread and butter, bread and butter Fangio too high shell guy. They'd be running the exact same scheme out there. And again, unless something can just magically change overnight in terms of player communication, we're going to see a lot of the same crap. Poor tackling, which is just a, that's a mentality. That's a mentality. You have to go in there with the mindset that you're going to fuck up your opponent on every single down. It feels like players on this defense don't have that mindset. They don't have that dog mentality. That's what it boils down to when it comes to tackling almost at the end of the day, man. You have to go out there and you have to give that strong effort on every single down. Just like Broncos fans says, like more of a Wink Martindale style attacking defense, that would be the right, that would be the right way to go. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to change what we're doing schematically too, too much in season.